are YouTube. I'm here today. I'm here to talk about Madden's. And I'm here to talk about the worst Madden's I ever played in my life. These three games right here has to be the three worst Madden's I ever played in my life. Let me start off. I'm going to go backwards though. I'm going to go backwards. Man 13. This game convinced me not to buy Madden 25 or Madden 14. And the reason why for that is because instead of having like game modes and going to franchise mode, they don't have that shit on here. They had connect the careers bullshit. That game that is fucking garbage. Garbage. It sucks. It fucking sucks, man. Then the players don't they talking about they infinity engine bullshit. They talking about they made an infinity engine. This game was fucking garbage with the infinity engine. The infinity engine they don't, they don't make it correctly. The players do not move fluently in this game. Oh yeah, somebody requested this video, and by the way. Um, yeah, but I wanted to talk about this anyway. But, that being said, all this shit. The players don't move fluently. The It seems like the de it's defense on this game is non-existent. It is non-existent in this game. Like... If you try to play defense, it's not really assist. I mean, it's not really there. Hold on, let me put that back up one more time. Also, the players in this game look like plastic. They're like some plastic shit. Some Nintendo Wii type of shit. Some fucking Barbie doll, Bratz type of doll type of shit. It don't look, it don't look real. It don't feel real either. Like, if the running back, if somebody running the ball, they just... They just fall down or something. Or they turn they they do a 360 in the goddamn air. Or it lags or something. And the online on this bitch is fucking laggy and it's fucking garbage. It's terrible as fuck. I mean, come on. I had so many wins. I had a lot of wins on this game, but I had a lot of bullshit losses in this motherfucking game online. It's fucking garbage. I had some bullshit losses. Because the defense is non-existent and the game is fucking garbage. It, it looks like plastic, man. I mean, it just don't feel real to me, man. Period. God damn. I hate this fucking game. This is why I ain't bought my Man 25. Because this game right here. Only reason why I really bought this game because my boy Calvin on the damn cover. Calvin on the cover and his alliance, his alliance player on the cover. That's why I bought the damn game. Let's be real here. Alright. Moving on. Man 12. <laughs> this game, it was, it's garbage, but it's the best of the three in my opinion. It's the best of the three. I'm going to tell you why it's the best of the three. The online, it's fun as hell to play online on this game. It is so fun. It is so fun, but it'd be some bullshit in this game too. But at least in, on this game, they have game modes and franchise mode instead of Madden 13 had with that connect the careers bullshit. They do have franchise mode on this damn game. You could play, you could play as a. Uh, oh yeah, Madden 13 they had coaches mode on there too, which is bullshit. But this game, you could play as a team and you could play with that team forever. It's fun as hell. It's fun as hell. I love it. But the the players though it. The way they tackle and shit, it don't it don't feel real in this game. But however, I mean it, it, it just feel dumb. Like it's talking about blowaways last year's game. Hmm, maybe whatever. But this game, it's it's whack overall. But it's the best of the three. I can't bash this one too hard. Oh yes, this game I'm really gonna bash. Oh my god, I had nightmares in this damn game. I used to play online. I used to whoop people ass in this game, but like, what I hate about this game is, I mean, the graphics, it, it looked it look better of the three. It looked the best, but 
far as the gameplay, it feels so phony. Like, if you tackle somebody in this game, I don't know why players always breaking tackles in this damn game. I swear to God, I had like a running back. That mother, <laughs> I, I broke like 10 tackles with his ass. Like, what? Unbelievable. You, it's not, they have, they, it's hard as hell to tackle on this game. It is very hard. And another thing that it's hard to run on this, on this game. It seems like you can have a faster player, like a faster receiver or a faster running back, but the linebackers, the slower and, the, and inferior running backs, I mean, li linebackers and linemen will catch up to you and, ca and tackle you, even though you got the faster running back or receiver. They'll still catch up to you and tackle you, which is some bullshit. With, you can't really get a touchdown off this fucking game. I used to run one or two plays on this game because that shit always happened. I have a faster guy, but they still somehow catch my ass. And they tackle me. And then when you tackle somebody, it seems like it's impossible to tackle somebody. It feel like it feel like, like some motherfucker. Like they got baby oil on the shit. Like this is some bullshit. This game was fucking horrible. Fucking horrible ass game, man. If you ever play this game on Xbox 360, you would know what the fuck I'm talking about. Man, I don't know what to do about this bullshit ass game. But yeah. <sighs> These mans right here. These three mans right here. <laughs> oh man. These three mans right here. The worst of all time. Besides Man 25. These three right here. Now, in my personal opinion, I'm about to bring up another Madden. In my personal opinion, Madden 06. Madden 06 had the best soundtrack in Madden history. Oh, yeah, Madden 12 had the worst soundtrack in, had the worst Madden soundtrack of all time. That's why they ain't had soundtrack in Madden 13, because the soundtrack of Madden 12 was fucking horrible. But Madden 06, it had one of the best soundtracks of all time. In Madden, if not the best Madden soundtrack of all time. Also, the game on PS2, it felt better for some reason. Like, when you tackle somebody, you actually tackle somebody. When you, you don't actually go through all this bullshit trying to tackle somebody. Motherfucker slipping, the top, the motherfucker slipping your tackles and shit like they got fucking grease on their fucking body and shit. That's what these players look like on Madden 10, 12, and 13. I had Madden 11, but I got rid of it. But this game is one of the best Maddens I ever played. This one right here. This is the most underrated Madden of all time. People don't talk about this game that much, but it's fun to play. It's fun as hell to play, especially if you're playing against somebody. Everybody I went against on this game, I used to whoop everybody's ass. Oh, yeah, the San Diego Chargers on this game. Oh, my God. Do not. You don't want to go against the San Diego Chargers or the Colts on this game. Them two teams on this game. Was a motherfucker. A motherfucker. I'm not even kidding. Oh yeah. I used to like using Sean Alexander too. When he was on this bitch. But yes. This game right here was pretty. Pretty cool. It was pretty cool to play. Online. I ain't really playing online like that. But. That was back then though. I ain't really fuck with the online shit. But. I just had fun playing the games. That's it. Playing Frank. Franchise more. I ain't give a fuck about that online bullshit. Fuck that shit. Actually, I don't really care for online too much. As long as I play my franchise mode, I ain't give a fuck. This is my, one of my favorite Madden's. Oh, yeah, Madden 04 is one of my favorites too, but I don't have it. I don't have it even though I, I did used to have it. Madden 08 is another Madden I like. I like the soundtrack. This is the third best soundtrack in Madden history. Besides Madden, o, Madden 05, Madden 06. This one was the best one. Also, I like playing this game because it showed the the icons and shit. Like the player's icons. Say like, for example, if you a fast player, like a fast receiver like Randy Moss, it'll show like a little foot with, with wings on there showing how fast it is. It showed the icons and what they're best at. And the game felt it felt better to play it. Well, it's kind of like Madden 06 in, in so many ways, so I ain't gonna really go into that. So, but teams on here that's you if you pick the teams on this game, you think I'm bullshitting. You pick the teams on this game, you're going to win. These are like the top.
top three most unstoppable teams on this damn game. The San Diego Chargers, the both uh, the not the Baltimore Colts. I mean the Indianapolis Colts with Peyton Madden and Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne, and the the New England Patriots. Them three teams was a motherfucker on this damn game. There was a handful. There was a motherfucking handful. Oh yeah. A team, oh, yeah, the Baltimore Ravens, they had a good defense on this game. But if you want to talk about NFC teams that was unstoppable on this game, pick, I say pick the um the Saints. The Saints was a motherfucker on this game, too. But, yeah, them, them teams I just named was kind of hard as hell to stop on this game. But that's all I got to say about this man shit. Let me know what you think about this man shit, man. Let me know what you think about this man shit. I'm about to be up out of here. Peace out.